Hello and welcome to this day here, Monday. This is Martin Luther King Jr.'s day. <coughs> Him, the guy who kicks, really uh, kicked the civil rights movement to high gear. There's other people before him, but, you know, that paved the way for him to do what he started. But he's the one who really kicked into high gear. One of the many who really kicked into high gear. So let's celebrate the, this day to celebrate his life. So I hope everyone's having a good Martin Luther King Day, Junior Day out there. Or Martin Luther King Day, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> yep. Just got done watching The Price is Right. Some pretty good prices on it this time around. You know, I really hope if I when and if I ever get out there when the, the show's on, when it's during the show season, is a tire show about cameras and camera equipment. That would be awesome. I'd probably sweep that show, man, and like win like a lot of money, man, doing that. So, I hope everyone is doing good, as again, on this Martin Luther King Day. Let's leave my last one right here. <clears throat> so yeah. Crazy times. You see him. I had to fix a tweet there I put up there. Watch a little YouTube. Got some pancakes here. In about a couple minutes I'm going to mix up some more pancakes. I got some batteries. Add a little more to it. Watch a little YouTube here. As you can see, uh, I'll put up my highlights and um, some of the winners from last night video. <coughs> Just my recap of uh, Golden Gold Boards. I mean, there's so it's so long. It was like th about three hours. Man, there's so much to go through. That there's just no way I can do it all. <coughs> so I'll just do the best of the best of last night review video, re recap video, whatever you want to call it. So I'll be doing that here soon. Today. And put it up. So by the time you're watching this video, so I'll be doing that sometime during the day. So by the time you see this video, that video will already be up. So Max was saying, this is Mac Hussein. I'll catch you later on in the day. See you later on in the day, people. Cha cha ciao. Watching Netflix here on my iPod Touch. Quality's really good. Yep, they have an app now. Get your wireless function on. So yeah, it's now two o'clock and if you're watching Let's Make a Deal, then I'll do some uh, make another pancake. <coughs> and make some deals. Let me, let me, uh, 
do a little cleaning. And uh, some back to saying until next time. Just kidding. I'll see you later on the video. Now it's 6 o'clock in the evening. I just play a little Warcraft. I mean Starcraft, I might say. Get check some things online here. And then I'm going to get ready to go someplace. And all that jazz. So yeah, apparently there's this thing called Digitor or whatever with uh, J with uh, Dave Dave's, Mr. Guitar Man, Day Storms, and all that jazz going out on tour. Um, there'll be some bonus videos hopefully coming out real soon. I just gotta shoot some uh, a new intro for one, and they have a whole bunch of bonus videos and I'll get the, oh, that sent in to somebody the, the stuff the links for that it's just all crazy people crazy I tell ya anyways just kind of been resting up this weekend because who knows what tomorrow will bring maybe the rest of this week will be awesome and crazy and you'll see lots of cool stuff but yeah I'm well rested ready for the week I'll catch you all later. Watching Improv Everywhere is No Pants on the Subway 2011 ride. <clears throat> Just got back from my meeting. That's all I need to know. Can't tell you anything else. Because it's not that important. But other than that, I'll be open to any of the other access, but I've been uh, sworn to secrecy on this matter. Well, I hope everyone's having a good Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I've been kind of lazy all day, in uh, fact all weekend, uh, recovering from this last week. Uh, it's been one crazy week, moving stuff, moving thing, people cleaning, vacuuming, sweeping. Uh, you name it, it's been crazy. So yeah, just wrapping up the vlog a little earlier than usual. So what did you? So my question for the day is then, what did you do to honor Martin Luther King? Now what comes to my mind is he didn't just do it for African Americans. I mean that was his main purpose, but he also mentions it in his speeches that I do this for all Americans. Because you remember, throughout, throughout the history, I mean, women have the right to vote for the longest time. And today there are still groups such as, you know, the white press groups, Ku Klux, however you pronounce that. Some say they're all worried as that, yeah, there's a bunch of bullshit. And uh, guess what? They're all, they're all male groups. 
There's not a single woman in the in a bunch of them. Why? Because they all believe all these groups, even among African Americans, among all groups, all ages, <clears throat> among even all other societies, still believe there are still people that believe this in the Japanese culture. In some in Arab cultures, it was very strong Arab cultures about women not being seen or heard or noticed with the veils. Men are the dominant people, and that's what it always has been the way it should be. And basically, there's just grasping, grasping for something that's long gone and cannot even ever be achieved again, because women. We like that men. They felt the power. They felt that their own power, and they are not gonna give it up. They've always had it. It's just that in the past, men have squashed it. Any time it risen up, they just shunned them, saying, "No, no, no! You should not have those thoughts." Well, today they're ignoring those shunning men and mothers, because the mother would say. No, no, young lady, you should not be doing that. Unless you're probably whipped by your father. And there's some African cultures that are that way, that were that way too. Now I'm not singling. See, therefore, I'm not singling out any background, ethnicity, or race or religion. It's just the part of history. And that's how what made me come think about this today, is even in the Jewish community, you know, tradition, a woman should be getting married within a Jewish person. I'm just saying that there are still people today that are clinging on to those old ways which can never be brought back into society. And the best way to think about it is think about genetics and how we've evolved. There are certain genetic structures in our code that have been switched off because we don't need those to survive anymore. At once upon a time, we did. Well, it's the same way in society. We were like switching that, that survival mode off in women. That, you know, stand up for yourself mentality. You know, or I can do just as well as another man, anything mentality. Or, you know, you're not better than me. But now, that's been turned off, you know. That that's been turned on. That you know, we turn it off. They're turning it on. Say, hey, we can do it. We can be strong. We can do what we need. We need to do to, to survive. That grip has been lost. So there's some for you to think about. This is Maximus saying. Until next time. Thanks for watching, and this has been another edition of the Struggling YouTube. Video. Just say, uh, get this guy 10,000 subscribers. Did you say that? Yeah. You guys need to really get this guy 10,000 subscribers like, now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. There you go. Nice seeing you again. Yep. Come on, camera.